Instead of suffering through the YouTube chat, click like and subscribe. This is the thing I wanted to say about the ratings. Learn them, Brian. It's not, it's not learning. It's just something I've been thinking about lately. So, you know, what's important to the company when they want to sign a new TV deal is the 18 to 49, okay? So there's a lot of emphasis put on what's the 18 to 49. Dave is, is strictly 18 to 49. 18 to 49. So remember we had that argument a while ago, and I was like, dude, the, the dynamite overrun always drops. And he goes, it never drops. Remember that big argument? I do. I think I figured out what he was talking about. Good. He's looking at the 18 to 49. Yes. Like there are times when the viewership like drops a lot, but the 18 to 49 slightly rises. Yes. Okay. Well, here's here's my thought on all of this. Yes, for business, okay, for signing a new television deal, the most important number is 18 to 49 and where you rank on the charts, okay? That, that obviously is something that needs to be paid attention to. But we are now at a point where WWE's got, like, I don't know how long this deal is. It's long. Like, they got, they just signed new deals. They got a new five years. They got a new television package. AEW is about to sign a deal. It probably I don't even know. I have no idea. It could be a five year deal for all I know. It's gonna be it's gonna be an extended one. And so once the deals are signed and we're looking at year one, I mean eighteen to forty nine, I mean it's that's cool and all. It's nice to know where it ranks and everything like that, but I mean, we got our deal signed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But what I do think is that when we only concentrate on 18 to 49 and we just ignore the viewership, the number of people watching, okay? I understand that 18 to 49 is your most valuable demo, but what's also important is how many people are watching, okay? Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. You know, WWE is, is number one. AW is often number two, number three. NXT, you know, they're doing they're doing very well. But, you know, a lot less people are actually watching AEW. And I, I as a as a viewer, as a fan of AEW, I do find that somewhat disconcerting. It's nice that they still have a good chunk of eighteen to forty nine watching, but like that's a lot of people that have disappeared. Well, Brian, and it's not all cord cutting. It's not all cord cutting. It's, you know, if you are if you cut the cord like I did, I don't have cable. I cut the cord. I watch everything on YouTube TV, and my viewership gets counted. But I bring it up because I was thinking about it because we were talking about the election. And, uh, you know, on Wednesday or Thursday, or it was Wednesday, boom, headlines plastered everywhere. What was plastered everywhere? 67 million viewers. Okay. They're eating the dogs. They didn't. Well, they, 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 that was plaster too, but the point is they didn't plaster the 18 to 49. They didn't plaster, you know, they plastered 67 million Americans watched this debate. That's a very important number. Okay. 67 million people care enough about what's going on in this country that they watched that debate. It's very much like the Super Bowl. You know, uh -huh. you see how many million people watched the Super Bowl. So I'm not saying that viewership is more important than 18 to 49, especially during a contract year. But the idea of, well, we don't need to talk about the viewership at all. The actual number of humans watching, like where do they rank on the TV charts? I think that we need to talk about both of them because like the it final. is a it is a big deal when you used to have a one point. You know, when when Dynamite debuted, it was like... And the same thing with SmackDown. They debuted on Fox. They debuted on Fox. Four million people watching. And then they, on average, got about, you know, 2.3 million. So, you know, that always happens on a debut. Like, the debut on USA, the debut on CW. Like, it's going to be a giant number. They're never going to reach that again. But, you know, if you see a show that... Well, you know, last year they were doing, uh, you know... 900,000 on average. Now they're at 650. I mean, yeah, they're still ranked really high on the charts and got a good 18 to 49, but like, where do those people go? Why are those people not watching anymore? That's my question. Well, there's a lot there, but I mean, you know, the, the last episode of MASH or Seinfeld or whatever it is, it's about the number of people that tuned in more than 18 to 49 because it shows you how 
massive of a hit that was. Yes. You know? You need and to acknowledge the important demo, the money-making yes. demo, the demo that's paying your ad rates. You do need to acknowledge that, but you also need to acknowledge how many people total cared. Yeah. You know, what's the most important demographic to a news channel? It's people over the age of 50 years old. It's that demo. But when you hear about them talking about numbers for these stations, what's important is the overall and another part of this is if your show is doing, say, 242,000 pretty much throughout the show, and then you have that's going kind of downwards throughout the show, and then in that fourth quarter, you get an uptick of 5,000 viewers, say, in 18 to 49. But you've also fallen overall 20,000 viewers, and you see that big dip when it comes to the overrun. Okay, you were up technically. What does that mean? What the most important number has been for AEW, in my mind, or one of them has been, every single week, year over year, you've lost one out of every five overall viewers and one out of every four 18 to 49s. That's the most important number. Trying to fight and Well, hold on, on. hold on. I will say Go this. Ahead. Go up ahead. until today, up until, well, whenever they announce it, the most important number actually was their 18 to 49 and where they're ranked. That's what's going to get them this deal. Uh, but sure. now... Like before, remember people used to always go, what about a million? They were all that magic million. Brother, that million didn't mean jack. But now, now that you've got your new deal, it'd be pretty nice to build that up to a million people watching your show every week. Yeah, That's all yeah. I'm saying. And the one thing about the debut broadcast, and we do, we do differ on this, is yes, it does always drop. But it also shows you what's possible. Because people act like, the dumbest people in the world just stumbled in and they have no, what is this? What is this thing I'm seeing here? Look, most of them are wrestling fans. Most of them have an idea what's going to be taking place and you get max it out with, you only get one shot to get that very first impression on there. So to me, it also gives you something to shoot for. And that's what AEW was doing for a while. In some ways, they started off way too well with their rating. I thought it was going to be more around like 800,750. And they started very high. And unfortunately, what's happened is now we're down to a point where we're saying 700,000 for them is really good because right now that is really good. And now they're trying to figure out a way how to keep their head above water that way. And I'm not convinced that they're doing that. This summer was big and important for them to try to turn their everything around and try to get things going by the time fall is hit. And to me, they haven't done it. And I know the pay-per-view numbers are great, but it doesn't. There's still nothing about this product, and we'll see what happens with Moxley and this whole storyline. But they have done nothing to make me feel like this ship is actually turned in a good direction or in the right direction. Per says ratings are not indicative of the quality of the show. Reason most of the four major sports don't put a heavy... Well, here's the thing, buddy. <laughs> Ratings are not indicative of the quality of the show in your mind. But ratings are indicative of the quality of the show in the mind of each individual viewer. All right? If you advertise... Like, this CW debut is going to do a giant rating because fans see it as an important show because CM Punk, all these other guys are going to be on the show. You can, you can look at quarter hours and you can see what made people tune in and what made people tune out. What makes a person tune in is what they see as quality and what makes them tune out is also what they see as quality. So if you look at the entire show and you're like, man, I really like that show, but it did a bad number. Well, that doesn't mean it was a bad show. Of course, it doesn't mean it's a bad show. What it means is for whatever reason, X number of people did not see it as worthy of their viewership that night, or they turned it off at some point or whatever. So, yeah, the ratings, the quarter hours, the minute by minute, it is indicative of what people see as, but you personally, you personally, you may like every show. Some people like every AEW show. Some people like every AEW angle. They just love it. That's great for you. But you're not everybody which is a very important point that a lot of people don't understand. You're not everybody. You're only you. Do you understand? And same with me. And same with Dave. 
That's when people get mad about his star rating. It's like, why are you mad about it? Do you agree with it? No? Okay. Can we move on to something else? Or you have to get mad at him because he didn't see it exactly like you did. That's only one guy's opinion. Why are you mad about it? Like, what's going on here? Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.